Welcome to the adventures of Wild Trout Man. In this episode, we will be walking the blue line and fly fishing for native trout on a Pennsylvania Class A wild trout stream. It has been a cold and snowy winter, so conditions will be difficult and less than prime as we try to entice the resident finned creatures to eat our presentations of feather and fur. We truly hope you enjoy this premiere episode of Wild Trout Man. Hey guys and gals, welcome. Just a stunning February day here. Gorgeous blue sky. We're after some native brookies. I have fished this stream before. And it's wild browns here too. Got these interesting tracks. I'm not sure what's going on here. Oh, maybe it's like a mouse or a bowl, perhaps. Another kind of tracks here too. I came up to this little gully here and I think I'm going to bushwhack it down to the stream instead of continuing up because it's it's going to be hard either way but this might shorten it a little bit and I want to fish upstream anyway. So we're making progress. I can hear the water and you know it's between me and that ridge you see in the distance. The water has to be there. Get out and enjoy this. It's just stunning beauty. I think I hear a woodpecker off in the distance to the right. I smell Berkeys. Love the crunch of the snow in my boots. I have extra active transition lenses on. Boy, they get dark in the wintertime. Plus I'm fogging up from being overheated coming down that ridge. Look you at know how gorgeous that is. Don't think I could pass up anymore. Let's go down and gear up and make something happen. Oh, very cool. The stream is bigger. Maybe this is uh, below one of the tributaries that I... Yeah, there's a pretty good sized tributary that comes in, I think, right above this. And check on my map and we'll see what happens. We're going to put a three pound and we're going to go with a dry dropper, which I love anytime. But it's great in the winter time. They're, they're not going to come up and hit that dry, but it's going to give you a nice drift on your nymph underneath. Knots are critical. Last thing you want is your knot to go. Make sure you inspect your line and get a good quality knot. About 18 inches off of that. Make a snip, tie my dry fly. Got all these boxes of flies. I'm probably just gonna use what I got in here today. Some nifty looking stuff. And these, these big beastie boys here just, just float so well. I call this baby my super atoms. Just that polypropylene material floats like a charm. It's like a cork. See my hook looks like a little, maybe a little bent there. So I'm gonna tie another 18 inches off of that with some three pound test. Peat head pheasant tail, variation. Tungsten, small tungsten bead on there. Get it through the eye six or seven times around. Boy, I lost my tripod on the way down, my little selfies tripod. I didn't have it secured properly and that thing's MIA. So we got casualties already. Give it a little moisture at the end there. Snip off that excess. So there we go. Main fly, they're probably gonna hit. Here's the dry, my super atoms. My Akel, I'm low on it. I just bought a bottle and I'm not sure what to do with it. Try and stick it in there and swirl it around a little bit, get some, get some floating. Fly does float well with no added silicone on there, but that'll do the job. So you can see up by the, you got the two rocks, you got the run coming down, more along the opposite side there. That looks like our, our water we want to hit. We get in the center of the stream and cast up.
can almost use a baseball cap today, some kind of a hat. The sun's pretty intense. Hopefully I haven't spooked everything here already. Strip in as your fly's coming down. Oh, they got one. <laughs> Look at that. Nice little brookie on, what was that, my third cast? It's brook gear brown. God, it's the brown, it's a wild brown. Flies out. Wow. Check that out. Wild brown right there, little wild brown. Let's give that guy a drink. How awesome. I love me some wild trout. Got him on the pheasant tail. That's just a killer fly. My go-to, this is my go-to combo in these streams. Super Adams and a pheasant tail. Slip through the net, so there you go. Awesome stuff. So the browns are up here, but I think I am below the one trib, which, uh, that just goes to show these brownies are coming up. And I, I love wild trout, I love wild browns, but we gotta protect our brookies. We can't have the Browns taking over everything. You know, we got to get the darn fish commission to no stocking trout and wild trout streams. And this is a class A wild trout. You know, season's closed on streams, right? Stock streams right now, but especially this, except the special regs and and these wild class A blue liners. This is my stuff. All right, everything else is ice cream after that. There's our view downstream again. A little teeny guy, but hey, that fish is wild. So, just a, just a joy and a pleasure. Guess I should keep filming. Boy, I had a nice one on. Just lost a nice fish right here. Oh. And it is below freezing because get the ice build up. Probably, most, more than likely, is not going to hit again. But there's probably more than one fish if I didn't spook them. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Little guy. <laughs> Number two. See what he is. Little brookie. Little brookie. Nice brookie. Look at that. How awesome is that? Gorgeous fish, gorgeous. Gotta pinch down the bar, forgot to pinch down the bar. Nice and gentle, 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 gentle. And there he is. Nice little brookie there. Some stuff. Yeah. It's colder than I thought today. Definitely have some icing up issues. Just be careful gently so you don't tweak that. And you got to be careful holding the reel on the other end that there's not too much weight on that reel and it snaps your rod in the middle. I actually had that happen one time too. Hey, you're not fishing unless you're breaking stuff. <laughs> Yikes, I gotta be careful here. Jeez, look at that. If you could see that up there, I don't know. All iced up. She's as cold as ice. This is a beautiful spot right here because it was open where you could get a nice cast in, which isn't always the case, man. When you're blue line and you got stuff, trees hanging all over the place, and so many times you got the, just the perfect spot, and that first cast is most important. And if you don't get it right in, and the more casts, 
the more chances you are of spooking the fish and and you certainly catch your share of trees and rocks Oy. and even caught a little piece of ice <laughs> now and before got a little iceberg on just a big difference between one and zero and then everything else is is ice cream like i said and but just to be out you don't have to be catching fish because oh there's another one learn to enjoy this beautiful great outdoors another brookie little battle here. <laughs> Come to Papa. Oh baby. Look at that. It doesn't get much better than that. That's just a stunning, stunning wild native I should say. Native Pennsylvania brook trout. Who's gonna Who's gonna spout out the Latin name? I think my fly is out already. Look at that, is he gorgeous? Wow, just gorgeous. I'm gonna keep him in the net. And I'm gonna take a little picture of this boy. He deserves a photograph. Look at that, is he pretty? All right, let's try a little underwater release. And Man, I'm having fun. Nice lie, perfect lie right there. Little run, got that, got the riffle coming in. Got the deep pool, it's probably over. It's definitely at least knee deep there. Really nice. So, yeah, this is, this is it. This is winter, winter fishing, blue line, Pennsylvania. Good stuff. Just, just beauty work, every, every direction you look. It just can't be any more picturesque than what you see right here. And we're blessed to have have these opportunities, and and, and for, for native trout and, 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 and wild stream bred trout on a fly, single hook. Here we go. Let's see what your presenter looks like. Ooh, here comes a dog. Oh my gosh! Yikes! We got company. <laughs> go home, Rover. You're scaring the fish. Really nice hole here. Did make a couple casts, didn't get anything. Definitely trout, but it's hard to get a good drift through there. Got some weird currents, weird back currents coming through that, that uh had to deal with. Anyway, I got stuck on the rock here, so game over for this hole. I bet there's a nice <laughs> one or two big ones in there, huh? All right, let's get out from under the ice. And this run right above here, I have fished this once before. This is where the other stream comes in. I got a and That's a nice, nice looking run. Love not seeing any footprints in the snow when you're fishing. Don't like place getting, getting hammered constantly. And no one's been here, so that's... That's good. There is that hiking trail off to the side there. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty fishy. So when you come in, it's like, okay, boom, there it is. How are you going to attack it? What's your game plan? Uh, fishing it, fishing upstream is always the key so the trout are less likely to see you. 
crouching down as you come in. So I'm going to get back in the water and come around here and see if we can get a... These ice formations are... <laughs> the science behind nature. Look at that. There's a cool shot. All right, so we're going to come up, come up low here and try and flip a, flip a fly in. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to get down on my knees. Cool ice formations over here as well. All right, let's give it a whirl. Oh, not a good first cast, being all iced up. Don't see my fly. Yeah, tough seeing anything right now. Tough casting too. I think the water is a little deeper than what it seems to be. Oh, there's my fly. Oh! I thought I had a hit, but I don't, no, I don't think so. The fly did go down. No, I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. Getting too many casts already here. Oh, so this is probably the side to fish this, this on. I think you get a better drift coming from over here. Too many casts already though. Time to move on. Little, little bit pretty. Not too shabby. Strip, 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 strip. Nice little spot to explore here. My canine buddy's back. One or two more runs here and we'll call it a day. All right, let's do a, let's do a fanny slide. Oh, there we go. Got wood. Got wood, got trout. Yeah, it could be something right in there. Yeah, get above these trees here though. I'm on top of that now, so whatever's there already saw me and they're spooked. I've got some flat water up here. This might be, might be doable. Get around this nonsense. each step coming through there. All right, that's looking fishy. Hey, we got a license plate. Check that out. You never know what you find from trash from Homo sapiens. I don't know how deep it is. I, I've never fished this particular section. This is new water for me. When I was younger, I didn't go out and I went out a couple times in the winter and didn't have much success and kind of called it quits for fishing in the winter time. But, you know, thinking these things are dormant and they don't eat and here it is February with 18 inches of snow and temperatures in the 20s and <laughs> these boys are hungry. Uh, the ladies are too. Uh, let's give it a whirl. Uh, 
Ooh! I'm even stuck on the ice there. Here's my fly. It needs to be a little bit more towards the center. Not a good float there. That's a, something's gonna take it and just spit it right out because it's just not moving. You need movement to get that strike indicator shown when you got a hit. Always loved the Adams dry fly. Growing up, that was my favorite fly. So buggy looking. That muskrat and grizzly hackle. That's just killer stuff. Yeah, I'm just not getting a good float in there. Let's just work our way up here. See what happens. See, it's flowing just a little too slow. And I'm pretty visible right now. With this shallower water, they're going to see me. And hear me, too. I'm clunking pretty good coming up through here. There's a good cast. Strip, 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 strip. There we go. Nice fish. Fish on. Nice brookie. Well done. Look at that. That's just nature at its finest. Stream bed. Born and raised. He's got a little problem with his tail there. Looks like he might have had a... No, it's that ice. No, he's some animal. Might have, uh, these guys are pretty tasty. A little tasty morsel there. Everybody likes eating brookies. The osprey, blue herons, eagles perhaps, raccoons. See, he's hooked in the lip very easily. Get that out. Uh, Joe Humphreys just pick him up by the mouth like that just just being careful and not doing any damage but he's, he's got some teeth he put put a little 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 bite on there see that he's got he's got an injury there ah look at that yeah no an animal had him if you can see that look at that back of that fish something had him just gorgeous look at that our state fish Pennsylvania State Fish. Look at that big black eye. Black mouth. Look at those. Got the teeth in there. Ah, it's just gorgeous. Look at those fins. The, the white on the front of each each of the fin there. That always designates a, you know, you got a brookie. Colors. Just gorgeous. Stunning. It'd be nice if he's in the light, but all right. Go back, buddy. We'll catch you again sometime. So again, uh, on that pheasant tail. That was, a, that was a, my first good cast in that pool. <laughs> you know, every drift was just not happening. That, that drift came down nice and strip, strip, strip. Fly goes down, give a, give a little lift of the rod tip and whammo. Got some action. Smoking the blue line. Strip, 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 strip. Keep stripping. See my fly, nice drift, beautiful drift. There it goes, there you go, nice one. A little bigger than the other one, I think. This is a nice, nice three-year-old. It's his brother. Actually a tad bit smaller, but he's, doesn't have any wounds. <laughs> Always easier to swim without any wounds. I might get a picture of this guy. He's, he's a good looking fish. Let's get him get him off the Oh jeez, wow, he took it down. Look at that. So sometimes I'm just gonna cut my line unless I get him out easily. Oh no, I think I 
I think he'll come out easy. Yeah. Nice and gentle. Look at that. Beautiful fish. It'd be awesome if the sun was hitting this guy. That'd be a great shot. Let's just try and do it quickly here. Keep him in the water. He's in the water. He's fine. Keep him in moving water. Fish should be nice and healthy on this release. Wet your hand. Water's cold, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. My cousin Mark, man, he's the, he's the guy who got me this technique of holding him so sweet like that. Look at that baby. Get the background. Awesome, nice release. There he goes. A nice long cast. Back far enough not to spook anything. And the drift. You got the drift coming down, same speed as the bubbles. Dry goes down, boom, lift rod. And you got Pennsylvania State Fish on the other end. That's just good stuff. Oh, my reel, my reel's frozen. I'll have to get out more line, there we go. Strip, 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 gotta catch up, gotta strip quick there. Strip, strip, strip. Oh, there we go, oh. Not sure if that was a hit or not. Where's my fly? Oh, I'm in the tree. Oh, shoot. Oops. A little too good of a cast. This is a gorgeous rod. Look at how deep it is here. Perfect, perfect. The float, there's there's no currents going crisscrossing backwards and doing weird stuff to your line so your fly doesn't float properly. Yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta catch a few squirrels. Look at how deep it is. It's up to my knees right now. This is just the perfect run. Fish and dry flies, I have, oh geez, what was that? Gosh, oh the ice, the ice cracking, man, it scares the crap out of you. <laughs> oh man, too bad I didn't get up here and get a better. Oh man, get some drifts in this water up here. This is really nice. Look at this coming through here. It's up to my thighs right now. Almost to my waist, geez, oh man. This is, see, you need even a, this would be a good streamer pull right here streamer run and, and get, get, getting that fly down like two feet or or more on the drift there's there's yeah this is a this is a really good run here now that i spooked everything the kingdom come so yeah fishing you know, besides trees i was just going to i don't know how many guys have caught bats while fly fishing but i managed to they've managed to hone in on two of my dry flies and the first time it happened, I was I was a young kid on, on Fishing Creek and by Benton. And my line's going up in the air. <laughs> so, what in God's name's going on? Here I had a bat. And I caught another one on the Lehigh. A couple beavers, a duck. Several <laughs> I got the mammals and Got the fish family in. They're doing the doing the birds as well. Oh geez, I, I got it. I threw it back up there. See it's I don't know if I could pick up anything in this ahead of this run here. I spooked everything already out of here. This is a great run. Wow. I come back and fish this one some other time. So uh summary. How can we summarize it besides just stinking amazing? <laughs> uh, love doing this. This is awesome stuff. Getting out, uh, especially in the wintertime like this. It's February. We got, we got, you know, this is the most snow we've had in several years. And uh, it's been cold. And, and, uh, the sun is out today. We got, got a you know, blue sky, but, you know, how much that was a factor, it probably, you know, it probably warmed things up. Having, having, this, having that sun out, got the fish feeding, got the fish active. Now your days, you're, you know, you come some days and, man, you swear there wasn't a fish, fish to be found anywhere. And, 
Uh, today was today was yeah, this is this is nice. A couple hours here, I guess it was total. And, uh, blue line on, on the Pennsylvania streams, you know, get out. Uh, we saw the rig that works. That that uh, dry fly. Instead of the to the strike indicator, I don't know. The strike indicator, is, you know, a lot of times they'll come up and they'll, they'll smack that dry fly too. You know, not not February is pretty tough. You got the I mean, it's a little black stone flies going off now, but they haven't seen anything hatch, no rises. Uh, but you get a really good float, really nice cast, and uh, it works. You know, eight, about 18 inches down, get your uh, head pheasant tail, or or. And these brookies aren't selective. They, they, that's that's my choice. You could you could probably choose a hundred other flies. Just getting the proper drift is the key. The drift, the drift, the depth, and, and not spooking them. Be, being in commando mode when you're coming in, uh, that's key. If you're able to get a a nice a nice long cast like we like most of the fish that were picked up today, it was it was a decent cast. Uh, staying back. And, and, and you know that's what you got to do for for uh, especially wild fish. So you know, one last look here. Just a really, really, really pretty, awesome to be out. Good day to be alive. All right. Success. <laughs> oh my God! I didn't think I was gonna find it. Uh, Backtracked here. Here it is. I was coming over these logs right here. I think I slipped and uh, Out she came I really didn't have it secured properly. It's the first time usually I put it in a backpack But I didn't want to do the backpack today because this is all I needed uh, But I gotta come up with a better way of obviously securing this thing So This is the trek out. Okay, it's going back the same way. It is definitely a difficult ride getting getting in and out all right, now my glasses are all fogged up. Sun's going down. Not a sound. Airplane in the distance. Just lovely. Onward. Here's a welcoming sight. Made it back to where the last vehicle tried to get up. <laughs> it's been a... Hey, you want to burn some calories. Yikes. Certainly keeps you in shape. Uh, oh, here we go. Home sweet home. There we go, baby. Yeehaw.